Hello everybody and it's Eva and welcome to my channel Rabbit Plus. In today's episode I want to talk about uh, this um, uh, add-in uh, plugin that I bought for uh, Revit, my Revit model uh, is Veras and uh, I did some experiments with the facade, with the study of facades and I would like to show you my prompts that I was using in each render. Okay, so let's start it. Okay, so first, uh, okay, so for all my renders I was using Creativity Strength 95, Style Strength 34 with 1344 is interior no, turbo nature on, atmospheric is off, and unless otherwise, and aerial is on. Okay, so that's my first uh, render. So what I used was a blue gl glazing with green edges, energy efficient curtain wall, gray good floors, flowers and grass foreground, wh white walls, white ceilings, golden hour. Next, uh, prompt, uh, horizontally aligned glazing, metal, black concrete, golden hour, juxtaposed materials, rectilinear, sharp corners, style strength 38. Next, prompt, horizontally aligned glazing, horizontal timber, grass, golden hour, juxtaposed materials, rectilinear, sharp corners, style strength 38. Next, uh, horizontally aligned glazing, metal, black concrete, golden hour, juxtaposed materials, rectilinear, sharp corners, strength 38. Horizontally aligned glazing, metal, black concrete, golden hour, juxtaposed materials, rectilinear, sharp corners, style strength 38. Next, uh, horizontal aligned. Uh, glazing, metal, black curtain, wall, golden hour, juxtaposed, materials, rectilinear, sharp corners, style, strength 38, and uh, atmospheric on. Okay, so in this, uh, I would like to tell you that I noticed when you have atm atmospheric on, and normally you will have, to, you will see that the, your image is dark, is a little darker, and as well, it has like a less definition, um, a lot of shadows and uh, so yes that's um, well I guess it's because it depends what do you want to represent but for example if you want to represent a, a foggy day or when it's snowing when it's raining um, all these days they're well typically yeah they're dark and, and very gray color and I think yeah the software does this as well okay next uh, in this case, it's the same. It's the same. Uh, I used uh, horizontally aligned glazing, metal, black curtain wall, golden hour, juxtaposed material, rectilinear, sharp corners, and style strength 38, and atmospheric is on. Next, I used uh, the prompt was white horizontal gla uh, glass and wood stripes, curtain wall, white horizontal glazing. Timber panels, monolithic concrete, golden hour, rectilinear, sharp corners. Next, horizontally aligned, glazing, timber, vertical curtain wall, gla grass, golden hour, juxtaposed materials, rectilinear, sharp corners, and style strength 38. And finally, uh, my prompt, they were horizontally aligned, glazing, vertical curtain wall, Grass, golden hour, juxtaposed materials, rectilinear sharp corners, style strength, 38. Okay, so this is um, as an, at my first study with this software, Viras. And I just, uh, yes, I I was working for an hour and I created a product, more or less 122 renders. And with the same, just only I used for this render, I use the same point of view that they have in their forum. Uh, the, the website is um, uh, evolvelab.io. Uh, so um, if you go to the forum there, they have you have a lot of tips and tricks that you can use for your uh, renders. And yes, because bear in mind, when you have your, uh, your 3D, 
if your treaty has a lot of elements like a cars and trees and I don't know, so, uh, several elements sometimes the algorithm gets confused and it just it, it, it will you have a lot of distortions so the best way to get a, like a clean uh, 3d is just try to remove all your objects that you have outside of the, your building and just keep it the the terrain and the building clean alone and you will have a, a better um a more needed uh, image of your 3D. Okay, so uh, I hope you like it. If you like uh, this video, click a like and subscribe and I see you in our next videos. Uh, one thing that if you like these experiments, I will be posting in the next couple of weeks. I will be posting different uh, um, 3Ds uh, and experimenting with the software. Okay, thank you. Bye, see you in our next video. Bye.